What's going on guys, it's Kuday here, and today we're going to be doing a video on the Reptile event and uh, St. Patrick's Day. Now, Reptile event will be the next video, but I wanted to go over some uh, other news in Mortal Kombat, like the White Lotus Tower. I haven't mentioned this, this is a pretty big deal, but we went from two refreshes a day to eight, but the refresh time is 24 hours. This is for the normal White Lotus Tower. Now, yes. It is very expensive. It's hard for me to give my thoughts on this. A lot of people have been asking, should I actually be refreshing the eight times a day? And to be honest, well, maybe not. I've always been a fan of doing towers, 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 but the next update in MK Mobile is going to be introducing five, five new soul packs. You know when the last time we had a soul pack was? Update 3.4, which is like eight months ago. Actually, has it been a year? Almost a year. Almost a year of waiting for a new soul pack. So yes, I do in fact think that maybe you should start holding on to your souls because with those five new soul packs and the anniversary of Mortal Kombat being right around the corner, you need to have those souls. So maybe don't do eight refreshes, maybe do like two because this tower does drop a lot of souls and still you have the chance to get those diamonds, which is really good. So use the Use the normal refreshes. But this gear is still absolutely busted. I don't care what people say. Some people th say it's balanced, but it really isn't balanced. I mean, it still is just absolutely busted. Think about a card where if you put this, like let's say Aaron Black, the gunslinger, you put this with him, uh, e even the diamond version of Aaron Black can have a cool combo with it. But let's say you just use the gunslinger version. If you put this on with, with him, you can still just shred through battle 200 of Ling Kuei. And you can't do that with, with another team without it being diamond. I, I think at least for one or two attempts, I, I'm pretty sure you have to do the Aaron Black combo if you want it to just be a gold. So that's why I think it's still absolutely busted. Regardless though, this tower does have pretty good gear. Fujin's gear is not necessarily bad. It's just the, the biggest problem with it is Fujin, not the gear. The gear is pretty cool, but Fujin just doesn't need it. You know, he already has a wonderful passive on his own, and this gear will nerf his passive, which is a huge problem. And Chintai of the North, absolutely busted. Just get one copy of this thing and you'll be good to go. So these two gears are what you're trying to shoot for, I would say. And also Shintai the Revenge is pretty good, but I think it's better at max fusion than it is at uh, fusion level zero. Okay. So that's my thoughts on the White Lotus Tower. Now let's go over the giveaway. So we did a giveaway in the Discord server for four lucky winners. We're only going to do three in this video. Uh, two Android uh, winners for this video and an iOS winner. Now, something happened in the shop. We had the Elite Netherum Elder God pack. And have a look. Do you see something? It says 25. 25 packs. So the developers have upped it from the normal 20 limit to 25. Now this isn't a huge increase, but still, this is this is weird. They're testing so many things. Yes, I, I know guys, I know it's still going at a very slow pace. The developers are throwing new things at us constantly, but they're doing it at a very slow pace, which is making a lot of people kind of rage. Like, oh my gosh, just speed up the, the time it takes uh, for us to change and, and, and go back to to the old fashioned ways. But I tell you guys, they are they are changing for the better. We just have to wait a little longer. Changes like this are giving me hope uh, for the future of Mortal Kombat Soul Packs, especially with the fact that there's gonna be five in the next update compared to the normal zero. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. But especially since they were actually celebrating the anniversary last year, we had like one Strike Force Diamond character and, and you could also get like classic Liu Kang. And that was it from the inbox. That was the last thing you could get for the anniversary. If you compare that to last year, to this year where we like we see a bunch of free packs in, in the store and we also get five new soul packs, that's that's a big difference. Okay, so let's open up the Elite Netherum Elder God pack on this account. I I haven't done a giveaway for Elite Netherum Elder God in a while, but I thought why not? Let's let's throw. Let's throw, let's throw some souls at it and give away. I, th I think I was supposed to give about 9,000 away, but we upped it to 14,000 because we wanted to make sure that we could cover the Elite Nether Elder God and also the, uh, what is it called? Guardian Terminator pack. Okay. So I'm just going to skip all because this pack only has a character. 
Um, yeah, so the MK11 team, now MK11 Raiden is really good. You're ba bouncing it out by having it fusion level 2 now. And Circle Shadows Quan Chi is also solid. Although I wouldn't want him out of all the characters. I would want uh, Injustice 2 Raiden more. So Classic Raiden is in here. You want that as well. Classic Raiden and Injustice 2 Raiden. Circle Shadows of the King would be good, but the rest, besides Jade and Raiden, eh, I could probably live without them because Cabal, Cabal is good in certain situations, but I don't, I don't really like to use Cabal as a main because I don't like his basic attacks. Now, back in the day, if you spammed with, like, let's say Black Dragon Cabal, he was so fast that he could, he could really uh, just override any opponent. Uh, trying to attack you, but Black Dragon Cabal is so slow. Like, he really did just get nerfed in the speed department, and it makes it very difficult to play him. He doesn't feel like that fast character he once was. Okay, Circle Shadows Liu Kang, Circle Shadows Jax Briggs, and MK11 Raiden. Good, good. You can also get Classic Scorpion and other challenge characters in here, which is amazing. Dark Raiden is about to get a um, promotion to Diamond. Not Diamond, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the the comet pass he's about to get a promotion and with that he's going to have brutality which is a pretty big deal since dark raiden is a good card and in fact i would consider him to be uh, incredible i used to use him for uh, like about two years two or three years and then i moved on to diamonds once i came back to the game so let's see last five packs what are we gonna get and k11 jade good 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 that's not bad Okay, so the last pack is going to be the Guardian Diamond pack. And something really important is that since it's St. Patrick's Day, they did celebrate with a soul pack. But what they usually do is either nothing or they drop a really crappy pack like, let's say, Vampir Smolina's pack, which was terrible. But in this case, we got a Black Friday exclusive soul pack, which it wasn't exclusive to Black Friday this year because they dropped it one other time, but they're dropping it again but with the 200 soul price what the hell is happening like you're giving it the black friday soul price on saint patrick's day something that's also interesting is that there's no saint patrick's soul packs it's it's just the guardian terminator pack being discounted which I, what do i find a little interesting like there are like holiday offers but they all have the christmas themes i don't they have lucky packs for saint patrick's day i, I saw them last year but i guess they're not dropping them I don't know. Either way, not a huge deal because there's not any, like there's not enough uh, St. Patrick's soul packs, and so this this is the best thing they could have done. Like Guardian Terminator, an exclusive character they only drop a few times a year to give him the advertised 200 soul price. Yeah, give it to us. Like that's worth it. That's good for us, especially with two days instead of 24 hours. That's a huge change. It makes it much easier for us to plan and actually uh, farm up souls to make sure we get all the 20 packs. So we're just going to skip all because we have a lot of packs to open in this video. Okay, no no diamonds. I have heard of a lot of people getting unlucky with this pack, unfortunately, but the chance of getting Guardian Terminator is still pretty high, and it's also a 10% chance. I actually do prefer Combat Cup over this pack, and I also prefer, let's see, what was that other pack I could prefer? Like Fire and Ice, I also like that pack, and... Uh, Shaolin Heroes? Yeah, I think Shaolin Heroes. I'm trying to think of another soul pack I opened recently that I was really uh, excited about and happy with, but I, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Last 10 packs, let's see. Do we get Guardian Terminator? Please, 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 please. Ah, darn, no Reptile. Not Reptile, sorry, Guardian Terminator. But we did get Reptile and Day of the Dead Katana, which is not bad. Those those two characters are good, but you only got fusions of them. I was hoping for some classic Liu Kangs, if not uh, Guardian Terminator. Okay, so that is it for Xyro's account. I think we should move on to the next giveaway winner. You know what? Because of the ramble that I did at the beginning, I think it's probably for the best that we only do one more um, pack opening. So we're on Caboose's account. Caboose! Now we have the Elite Nether Elder God pack and the Guardian Terminator pack. Now, I don't know if I added exactly how many souls they need to do this giveaway. Uh, prize? So I might have to add a few extra thousand souls after it's all said and done because I always like to leave a little bit extra or if I'm a little off, it's fine. I just won't finish it and then I'll just add the souls so they can open it themselves. But yeah, this is this has been pretty good so far. These holiday packs, not too shabby. Skip all, please, please. Not bad. Circle Shadows Sub-Zero and Circle Shadows Liu Kang. 
you know, it's weird. You don't usually see Circle Shadows Liu Kang and Circle Shadows uh, Sub-Zero together, like on a team. Because they just, they're, they're both like good DPS characters that you just wouldn't usually put together on a team. Usually have other characters to support that are different Circle Shadows characters. I mean, a Circle Shadows team, even though they're kind of bad, it's still better than Lizard in the sense that, like, you could use Lizard Baraka with a lot of teams because he works well with Outworld supports. But, like, you can't use Lizard Jade and Lizard Noob on their on their own and other teams. Like, why, why would you? It would be kind of stupid because you can't revive the other teammates. Okay, now that was a good pack opening. That was good. And Justice 2 Raiden and MK11 Raiden. Cold War Scorpion, probably the weakest one in there, but still. Freaking amazing. Oh, I think we're gonna have enough. We just have to we just have to make sure to open up the Guardian Commander first. We won't be able to open up the five uh, Elite Northern Elder God in this video, but we're gonna leave some extra and add back the souls that we uh, went over uh, with. For, the, for these giveaway winners to make sure that they don't have any problems. If you want to participate in future giveaways, make sure to go down the Discord server, kuda.shop slash Discord. Uh, and if you're having issues with verification, just let me know on Instagram or just try to PM me on Discord because it, it tells you my Discord tag. Uh, Cabal? Come on! Let's throw me some curveballs, Amir, and I don't want Cabal. I have a special video coming up very soon, and I think a lot of people are going to be super excited to see it. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Let's just say I, I did a video. Uh, I'm just going to give a little hint. It's called, you know, you know, the ultimate video. Maybe anyone who searches up ultimate is going to know that. But thing is, it was it was a video I did on Tower 200. It was with an exclusive character. Let's just say that. And I have a new video coming up very shortly. That's going to be really fun. Just extremely fun. And unfortunately, no diamonds. Actually, yeah, one, but it was Cabal. No Guardian Twitter, and I have seen a lot of people getting pretty unlucky with this pack. It seems Elite Netherrealm is still going to be the best bet for you. Uh, and that makes sense because Elite Netherrealm Elder God is one of the highest chances for diamonds in this game still. So if you are trying to go for the most consistent pack without level ups or any other support cards, then you have to go for Elite Netherrealm Elder God because it is still simply the best. Even with the increased price in souls, you still just get more for what you pay for compared to the Guardian Diamond pack. Still though, Guardian Diamond is, is kind of fun at 4,000 souls for 20 packs. At 4,000 souls, that's still pretty fun and nice to give it a try. Even if you fail, it's worth just shooting your shot because you could have a ton of diamonds in there, including Guardian Intermitter, which is a pretty exclusive character. He's not in any towers at the moment. I hope they do make him a random diamond at some point, but just like Dark Fate, they just don't. They made Dark Fate a 200 reward at one point, and then Guardian had no treatment, so... Yeah, let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have Mr. Valkimo, Coing, Titan, LBX God Op, Metal Crab 3001, Shaw Crow Lin, Catherine, Ramakoi, Noxon, Grim, Hamakaza's Channel, Unreal Pete, ProView Optical, The Mist, Ronaldo, Jeremy, Bagor, NNA Blaster, Ghosty XL, Hamath, 3WPS, Plain Punch, Poppy Garcia Official, Devil, Stefano, Presh GG, Protax Hayes, Ali Imran, Karin, SC Zucky 97, BB, Frenzo, Ixares, Shadow Sparkles, Jewful Candle, Friendly Guy with a Spurger, Grimmer Amia, Overkill 80, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, Sieges Empire, Random, Fierce Wolf, and MK Fire. And yeah, peace out.